This is, so this is the most common bee that you're going to see in Los Angeles. It's the European honeybee. They carry pollen around on the back of their legs. Big yellow clumps of pollen. There's so much nature here. We're in a biodiversity hotspot, one of 35 in the world. We're on par in California, here in LA right now, with the island of Madagascar and the tropical Andes. I really want to try and catch a butterfly too. I saw a butterfly fly by. There is nature here that exists nowhere else in the world. It is basically our job to make sure that we know what that nature is and where it is and what it's doing. Um, and our scientists here at the museum are working on that. And again, it's this partnership between us and our citizen scientists that live in the community. I don't know if we have many millipede records from here. I don't know if we've identified any of them. I'm constantly out here looking at nature, taking pictures of amazing creatures that I find. And literally no one, we did not know that these snails, um, we knew that there were interesting snails here, but no one has done a comprehensive study. And so our scientist, Dr. Jan Vendetti, has started to do that. And we have had hundreds of people submitting pictures of snails and slugs. And we're finding things that we didn't know were here before, introduced snail and slug species that have just shown up in LA. And citizen scientists were the ones that found them. And citizen scientists were the ones that, that took the pictures. And now our scientists are like, this is a new state record, or this is a new record for LA. This research could not happen unless the citizen scientists were involved. And again, there's 22 million people who live, over 22 million people who live in Southern California. And so we've engaged thousands, and next it's about the hundreds of thousands and about the millions. And once we get millions of data points, our scientists can start to use that data to really have a good understanding of what's going on, not just with the reptiles and amphibians, not just with the snails and slugs and the insects, but how all nature works in Southern California and how urbanization and how us humans moving here and, and changing things ha affects the nature around us.